To get an internal material on a watermelon inside of Unreal Engine 5.4, we have to do something a little bit different than was originally stated in the original lesson plans. So to do this, first we need to actually find said watermelon. So this asset right here, go ahead and open it up. Simply just double click on it. Next thing we need to do is actually add in another material slot. This can be done by clicking this little button right here. And we want to go ahead and use the internal watermelon one. So if I type in water, we should be able to find this right here. So this MI watermelon inside, go ahead and choose this as this other material. It's going to be element slot number one. Let's go ahead and then make sure that we save all of our work here. Now we can go ahead and create the geometry collection for this. So with this specific actor inside of the world, like so, we can go ahead and just select it and come up here to the top left where it says selection mode. We're going to change this over to fracture. Inside of here, we're gonna go ahead and choose new. And then from new, we wanna go ahead and save this somewhere. I'm gonna go ahead and just save it in the same folder that it is. I'm gonna give it a slightly different name. So I know it's a geometry collection, watermelon. I'm going to just say create. Next, we wanna go ahead and crack this in a uniform manner, at least in this case, we'll go ahead and open that up. Um, I've got this set just to three, so it's only gonna crack into about three pieces. Now, the thing that we need to change is right here. So. For those that are taking notes, this is where we need to actually set the internal specific material. So to do that, we just click this drop down and choose which one we want to go ahead and use. So I'm going to go ahead and use this first one here, this MI watermelon inside. This is the same material that we just added here, right, as in element one. So with that all set up, we should now go ahead and just hit the fracture button. Yeah, nothing else to do. We'll go ahead and just click on the fracture button like so. This will go ahead and fracture this. We no longer need to be in fraction mode, so we'll go back to selection mode. And let's go ahead and lift this way up in the air. Now we've got our two materials here, and when it cracks, this one should be on the inside. So to get this to crack, let's make sure that we're actually setting its threshold. So we'll go up here and search thresh, and we're gonna change this index zero value all the way down to something like one. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and play this. It should fracture, and we should see that material on the inside, like so. So cool, that worked. So. If you have any other questions, comments, concerns, or confusion you need cleared up so that you can continue to create, go ahead and just leave a comment down below. We'll get back to you whenever we can. And of course, be clever like and subscribe.